By simply reducing food wastage and growing your own vegetables, it's possible to reduce your ecological footprint by as much as 11%. Such actions are common practice at Five Penny Farm in Wooden Fitzpain. A small-scale mixed organic farm, the family here has joined together with other local small-scale meat and veg producers to form a cooperative. The premise to provide local produce for local people under one roof. We all love working the land and we feel like that's the future of the countryside in Dorset is to really to get young people out there caring for the countryside and producing goods for the local economy. So recently we've embarked upon a project to help all of us out which is to build a facility, a centre for local food, where we'll be adding value to the things that we produce on our farm. Our barn that we've built as a processing centre for the cooperative, uh, we tried to build it as an eco-build as much as we possibly could. We used local timber to make it and used traditional timber frame joinery techniques. It's made from Douglas fir, which comes from a local National Trust woodland. And then we thatch the roof using reed, which comes from um, an RSPB sanctuary, bird sanctuary in Scotland. So it's not imported from China. We use a wind turbine and solar panels to power it. We have a reed bed to filter the sewage from it. So a lot of the essence of the building is about local products and supporting local craftspeople. Um, the same as the essence of our food is about supporting local food producers. Our cooperative really strongly believes that it's important for people to try and buy locally as much as possible and buy their food from the land that it comes from. You know, then people don't have to buy food that's been you know, imported from halfway across the world. Also, you're reducing the amount of air miles for that food that's, you know, that's coming to you. It's not coming by airplane, it's not coming by boat, all those things that use fossil fuels, and that reduces the environmental impact of the food that you eat. Processed food is incredibly resource intensive to produce because processed foods use a lot more water to produce, they use energy to produce, you know, you have all the packaging. But if you can create dinners that are really nutritious for your family with non-processed foods, you can really support the local economy and cut out all the environmental impacts that go along with eating processed foods. Yeah, it's really important to my husband and I because we've got four children and we care about their future for the planet to be able to try and reduce the amount of fossil fuels that we use in our daily life, um, you know, with climate change happening. And the fact that if you don't try and live a lifestyle where you're reducing resources and not relying on other ways of doing things, those, those ways of living are actually, will become forgotten for the future. And I think they will actually be really important for the future. Ah, I find a nice loose bit, put it in the loose bit next to it. That's right. I think one thing that has improved our lives more than anything else is the fact that we don't have a television. So our children are out there on the farm with us, but you know, even if you have a small garden, just getting them out there on the land, working with you, seeing where food comes from, being in connection with animals, being in connection with plants, harvesting those things, bringing them in and making meals that are out of things that you just plucked out of the garden. It's really important because it means that you understand the connection to, to who you are and where your food comes from and what your body's producing and you have time to be able to enjoy the planet around us. the pigs most of the time but the cows are nice especially when there's calves and then the chickens are funny they ride on the backs of the sheep sometimes and that's so funny the piggies move around and they get a new grazing area because they eat the grass too and then they kind of rip up all the grass and they and they um, wallow in the mud and it's really funny watching a human grow up kind of and getting curious. Log on to www.org.uk forward slash calculator to learn more about ecological debt and find out your own ecological footprint. You can also join thousands of other people who have found tips on the best way to reduce your impact on the world.